Hello everyone, welcome back. It's been a bit of a break, but today we are back to talk about the GQ Best Stuff Box Fall 2021. Let's go. So what is the GQ Best Stuff Box? I'm glad you asked. So GQ, Gentlemen's Quarterly, um, does a bunch of stuff just geared towards men, fitness, grooming, fashion, all kinds of stuff. So they got together and they decided to do a quarterly subscription box. So it's one for each of the seasons, fall, winter, spring, summer. Generally, each box contains one big ticket item. This item is usually worth over $100, so that's over half of the value of the box all on this one item. The rest of the things in the box are just a compilation of a lot of smaller items that have to do with lifestyle, grooming, wellness, etc. I'll also be giving away one of the items in this video later on, so watch all the way through so you don't miss that. So, like I said, in every box there's one big ticket item. And in this box, it's the Knickerbocker long sleeve shirt. It's actually the shirt I'm wearing right now in this video, and there were three color choices, and I chose to get it in the blue, navy, whatever you want to call this color. So, as far as this shirt, the Knickerbocker long sleeve tee, how is it? Honestly, pretty disappointing. And as far as this shirt goes, so when I first like got it, tried it on, I hated it. This is mostly just because the, the quality of the shirt doesn't feel great. It feels very thin and just not that premium. And with that in mind, I cannot see a world where someone pays willingly $105 for this shirt. So that was the Knickerbocker long sleeve shirt, the big ticket item in the box. Like I said, a little disappointing. Let's get into the next category of items, which is grooming and personal care. So First up in the box is the Geology Everyday Face Wash. So it's just a normal little face wash. Uh, I've never heard of this brand before, but it's an everyday face wash with 2% salicylic acid. So what that is going to be good for is any blemishes or impurities in your skin. Um, you just wash with this a little bit and it'll kind of help you get clear and balanced looking skin. Next up is the Ralph Lauren Ralph Club cologne. Ralph's Club is a warm, rich scent with notes of lavender, a more natural herb smelling relative of lavender. So just lavender, sage, and cedarwood, all housed in a sleek gunmetal bottle ready to class up your bureau. Next, we have the Wolf Project face masks. These are great for opening up your pores, clearing your skin out, um, and just giving you a really fresh and vibrant look, um, especially we're spending tons of time on Zoom in a pandemic, so you really want to have that uh, Zoom glow for your classes and presentations. So the next one we have, which I have never seen before, is the Orib Flash Form Finishing Spray Wax. Again, it's just a little spray bottle, I guess, spray it in your hair, style it a bit, and go on your way. And I think this, again, showcases one of the really cool things about this box, which is you, you never know what you're going to get. So still going with grooming and personal care, we have the Perfect Shine Clarifying Scalp Scrub. I actually already used this because I really wanted to test it out. And it, it smells great. It feels great. And you just feel clean and refreshed after using it. Another product in the soap family but this time it is the Beast Body Bar. This all natural total body scrub soap infused with mild exfoliants and just a hint of crisp blue beast scent, which I don't know what that is. So I, I assume it just smells like good soapy smell. Gently scrubs away impurities, revealing smoother, healthier looking skin and a more energized you. Like I said, Beast Body Bar, it's soap. 
The final product in the grooming section, there's more after this, but this is just in the, the grooming and personal care section. We have the face moisturizer from Mopalim. Mopalim. It is one fluid ounce of hyaluric acid and colloidal oatmeal. So again, Mopalim face moisturizer. The last category is lifestyle and wellness which is kind of a miscellaneous category, and you'll see what I mean by that in a second. The first is one bag of coffee from Trade. Now, Trade is a coffee subscription service where you pretty much go online, you tell them your taste profile, how you make your coffee, like drip, French press, whatever, um, and what your experience is with coffee. Like, are you a connoisseur that really knows different subtle flavors? or you just drink anything put in front of you and you don't really care. The next item that came is liquid IV. And it is just packed with electrolytes, uh, vitamins, and this cellular transport technology. I, I don't know what that means, but pretty much this keeps you hydrated. If you're ever like super dehydrated after a night out or sports or anything, this is just Gatorade on steroids. The second to last item is a, a little surprising to me. Um, it's Lumify eye drops. So it's just little, little eye drops like that. Nothing crazy. But I guess if you just get red eyes a lot or I don't know. If you have red eyes or if your eyes are feeling dry. Now you've got some eye drops. The final item in this box is a discount code for HBO Max. Now it's not free HBO Max. It is 25% off your first three months. And this is fine, but these type of items are actually the ones that I, I kind of despise the most in these subscription boxes. Because yeah, they're telling you that you get a discount or they have some dollar value. In this case, it's $12. But you never see that value unless you buy the product and spend money to get it. I don't like that. Like this stuff, you're already paying to get the box. You should, everything you get, you should then have. You shouldn't have to spend money or pay fees or random stuff on top of it. So that was everything in the fall 2021 box. And I just wanted to take a second to kind of give my thoughts on it and rate it compared to the other ones that I have received from GQ. The biggest letdown, which I've already said, was the Knickerbocker long sleeve t-shirt. It's just too expensive of an item to get wrong, in my opinion, and it just kind of sours the rest of the box when this was supposed to be like the big thing that you're supposed to get excited about. So finally, on a scale of zero to 10, where 10 is, this is dope, you have to go buy this right now, and zero is, this is awful, I'm canceling my subscription, I have to give this box a five. That rating is almost solely because of this shirt. Like, if it makes up half the box, I'm giving it a zero out of five, and I'm giving the rest of the box a five out of five. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching. If you made it this far, turn that like button blue, subscribe to the channel, this has been my episode on the GQ Fall 2021 Best Stuff Box. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.